It used to be I would wait until like the second or third date before I told a guy that I was a Marine. Well, I've wanted to be in the military since as far as I can remember. My aunt served, my uncle served. Of course, that's what I wanted to do. I liked competition. I liked the idea of doing the difficult things. After 9-11, I decided that I wanted to do something to help. I had a top secret clearance. I was trained to be a diesel mechanic. I worked myself up to the 50 cal heavy machine gun. They're gonna teach you everything. You're gonna be prepared for everything. That's what they tell you. She's always been incredibly driven, incredibly motivated, and getting hurt, it totally derailed all that. I have my husband have to throw me over his shoulder because I can't get up the stairs. I got up at 4.30 a.m. in the morning. I was the gunner that day. I remember just snow falling, and that was it. One of the NCOs is running down the hallway screaming, get in your trucks, we gotta go, we gotta go. They thought I was dead. The first woman from Afghanistan that was injured, a double amputee, and not really famous, but. I had been exhibiting symptoms of PTSD and withdrawal pretty much from the day that I got home. I just became angry, yell, scream, emotional. I was self-medicating with alcohol. Not wanting to be around crowds, not wanting to be in public. I don't want to say the boogeyman, but just that there's some, you know, that someone or something is not going to be safe. Not only are they dealing with possibly combat trauma, but they're dealing with this other secret. Before my 19th birthday, um, one of the NCOs in my unit raped me. I did report it, and basically the outcome of it was that I was lying. You're told they're your battle buddies. They're supposed to protect you. They basically said that I misunderstood him. It wasn't until I actually got into the shelter that I realized I was actually homeless. I attempted suicide, you know, homelessness, depression. I mean, I, the list goes on and on and on. Everybody else knew that something was wrong with me. I'm the only one that didn't think so. I was a strong person. and. If I was so strong, then why did I need medication? He sensed a panic attack coming on, jumped up on me. I was laying in bed, laid on me until it subsided. I didn't have to take any panic medicine. And I'm upset. She's just so, just so easy to cuddle up to. He's given me independence. And with some independence, you regain some of your self-esteem. The women in the Marine Corps actually have their own slogan, the fewer, the prouder. Why can't I just say that I don't want to think about it? You think you're the only one. When you have women getting together, you find out that, wow, our stories are similar.